Hey, this is Wendy with Loaves and Dishes, and I know that you love to have perfectly cooked chicken every single time. And I'm going to show you how with the pressure cooker today. So come on, let's cook some bone-in or some bone-out chicken. First start with one to two pounds of chicken, and you're going to put that right into your pressure cooker. And then we are going to add some seasonings. So the thing that's going to add the most flavor is if you get some broth in there with those chicken pieces. Um, you're going to want to use half a cup or you can use half a cup of water and some chicken broth concentrate, which is what I do because it takes up a whole lot less space in my cabinet. Then you want to add some other seasonings. I like to use a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder some salt and pepper and a, sometimes a bay leaf and then you just put the top on pressure cook it on high you can see here I've got a mixture of bone in and boneless pieces so I'm going to cook this on high for 10 minutes with a natural release I've got a really helpful chart at the end of this video that will help guide you for how long to cook your chicken However, if you cruise on over to loavesanddishes.net, you'll find the whole entire post with tips and tricks for every single cut of chicken, how to do it, how to crisp the skin, all of it. I've got it all right there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Loaves and Dishes here on YouTube so that you can catch all the great videos that we're putting out each week. I put out two or three a week and it's basic cooking like this so you'll be the star of the show at your own dinner table so there's the chicken broth concentrate um, doesn't take much about a teaspoon for this amount of chicken there I go putting the lid on my pressure cooker you might use an instant pot either way if you use an instant pot set it to manual 10 minutes with a natural release and when it releases just let it release naturally. There's mine. That's how I know when it's pressure cooking. That little dot rises. Now here it is. This is what it looks like when you um, open the lid. Of course, you know, it's going to take me a minute to get it over there. But anyway, when you open the lid, what you want to do, and you'll see me do it here in a minute, is take a couple of forks, reach down in there, pull your chicken apart, make sure that all the juices are running clear, the meat is cooked down close to the bone. That's what you see me doing. Whoops. <laughs> Bogged up my lens there. But you can see the pieces of chicken in there. And still the seasoning is sitting on top. I'm going to shred this chicken to make a casserole. And believe me, pressure cooking it is the quickest way to get it done. So you can get your casserole on the table. But anyway, it's done. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. for watching this video. I hope you'll join Sarah and I on our mother-daughter adventures in takeout. You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com.